Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is the series of the uh, home electrical systems. Uh, we have covered <coughs> uh, several things up to this point, like plugs and switches and 110 volts and 220 volts and uh, fuses and breaker panels and, and, and the power that comes into your home and, and what some of that stuff may look like. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing that uh, we're going to cover in this video is, is pretty much about the last electrical system you might find in your house. Um, and, and there's a couple of different, uh, different things that, that operate off of this. And it's going to be a, a 24 volt AC. Okay? Now, 24 volts AC is much safer than, say, 110 volts. And this is, you're going to typically find this in a control circuit. Okay? Um, and the other thing you find them in is doorbells. Okay? Okay, so let's cover the doorbell here real quick. Simply, um, in, a, in a doorbell system, you're going to find an AC, 110 volt AC circuit. Remember, keep hot, and we're going to have either a switch. Remember, we have to incorporate our fuse. Okay, that's not drawn quite right. Okay, we got a fuse. A switch, um, and this could be a breaker. We're going to just call it a fuse for this, for the purposes of this video. And then we are going to be running, just like in every other circuit, we are running a coil. Okay. And actually, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to draw this coil down, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay. And then back to neutral. So we have our fuse, we have our switch, and we have our coil. Now, in this case, for a doorbell, we're not going to run a doorbell in 110 volts AC. <clears throat> they operate off of 24 volts. So we have to transform 110 volts down to 24 volts AC. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate a transformer right here, and we're going to draw this like this. Notice I have five coils here and I have four here. Pretty much so long as this coil indicates more windings than this coil, and you know that this is the, called the primary, primary, secondary, okay? Now, this whole apparatus is called a transformer, and a transformer will take a higher voltage and bring it down to a lower voltage. You find these in pretty much two systems in your house. <coughs> Maybe more, but typically two. The first one is the doorbell. Okay, now... Again, we want to have the similar, similar things here. Um, we're going to have a hot, and we're going to have what's called a common on the other side. Okay. Now, the hot, and at this time now is 24 volts. Everything from here down is 24 volts. Let me write that here. This is 110. Okay. Now. Here's the circuit, but we, we, have, we have nothing in the circuit at this point. It's just straight coming out of the transformer and there's nothing there, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to incorporate, let's go ahead and install our safety fuse, right? We want to we wanna fuse this thing in case there's ever any issues, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and run it over to the, and this, this fuse could be built right into the transformer. It could be a breaker you reset or something like that, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this guy all the way over to a switch. Again, a switch. Okay. Except for this time, we're going to draw, uh, the switch is going to be, you know what, I don't know the exact symbol for a push button, but let's just go ahead and draw it like this. You know, we'll just draw something like that. So you, you push it. And it's, <coughs> it's normally open. And... Uh, and then we go on to our coil and back. This is our doorbell. This coil could be connected to a, a, a magnetic ramrod. So every time you made the circuit, the electrical rod would go ding. And then you let off, it goes dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Okay, so that pretty much, this is, this is exactly what a doorbell circuit would look like in your house. Um, it's really not much more, oops, 
That's not SED, it's SEC for secondary, SEC. <coughs> okay? Pause for a second, so if anybody wants to pause that and copy it down, write it down or something like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, erase some of this. We're going to erase everything on this side here. We're going to erase this. We're going to leave our circuit the same here, okay? Because again, remember we're talking about 24 volts. So no matter what, we have to have our, our 110 volt or line voltage circuit fused, switched, load, and hot neutral. Those are the key components to every circuit. Fuse, switch, and a load. <coughs> our transformer is still in play here because we're transforming the voltage from 120 or 110 down to uh, 24. Um, I said 120 there. See that the term 110 uh, or 120 is, is synonymous. Okay. Now we're coming down here, and and now what we're going to do is we're going to be inside of a we're going to call it inside of a, a heating unit. We're going to be inside of a furnace. Okay. <clears throat> the thermostat now, and your thermostat on your wall that is typically ran off of a 24 volt circuit. And again, just like everything, you got to have your fuse, got to have your switch, and then you have to have your load, whatever the load may be. Okay, um, it all uh, that this could be a relay. Okay, could be a relay. Okay, could be a contactor. Okay, relays and contactors are similar because they are a switch that would switch higher voltage but we'll, 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 we'll get into that shortly okay so the symbol for your thermostat should be something like this um, depending if it's heating or cooling okay but it's going to be um, this is the symbol for a thermostat okay and this would mean that that switch is going to close on rise, close on fall. Let's see, ch ch close on fall. There's different ways here. Let me write write these out. We got one switch open. There is one right there, and then we have um, like this, okay, and then we have one like this. Oops, drawn them too close. Let me draw it down here a little bit. Okay, switches down here. And okay, and then the other one would be here. Okay. So this is gonna close on rise. This is this is a close on rise. This is a close or the, let's see, this is a close on rise, uh, Drew, this is a, this is a open on rise. See, as the temperature rises, it opens. As the temperature falls, it closes, so this would be close on fall. And, uh, and this would be an open on fall. So this would be an AC, because, or, uh, let's see, uh, oh, close on rise, close on rise. This would be an AC, sorry, I am so sorry. Okay, because as the temperature rises, bing, it makes the switch, turns on the air conditioner. Now this would be a contactor that turns on your AC. Okay, um, and this is a close on fall, so this would be for heat. Because you want it to close and turn on your furnace. Okay, so this would be then maybe for a relay which turned on your ignition coil or something for your furnace. Okay. So that's 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 how this pretty much works out. Um, and I was a little a little on uh, a little all over the map here on the on the switching, but it's been a while since I drew these out. So, okay, well uh, uh, again, this is a this is a typical circuit for uh, for controls. Okay, for control purposes, and uh, there's many other controls that you can control. Things you can control with a, with a secondary low voltage circuit like this, but uh, the the things that you're typically going to find in your house. Again, are these two, an HVAC system and doorbells. Okay, 
Hope this helps, and uh, hang with us, and we're going to do some more videos. We'll be on video six next, and uh, um, I'm not sure exactly what our subject's going to be, but it'll, it, it might be into relaising controls or something. But hang in there. If you like this video and this helped at all, um, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, rate the video, uh, leave a question. If you have a question, I will take every question, excuse me, and, uh, and, and subsequently... Um, re reply with a, a new video that takes that question and dissects it and, and explains that little portion of it uh, in its entirety. So uh, hang with us and, and, and hopefully uh, we'll get you through uh, and, and get you to be able to uh, uh, understand electricity like a lot of the other people. Um, anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys in the next video.